Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode we are attacking a... Uh, or we are, we are intercepting an Ottoman army which has been landed on our shores after the Ottomans declared war. We had to leave the artillery at home so we could advance swiftly and get into the battle space at the right time. And yeah, the intention is, I think, to destroy this, destroy this army we want to make sure we're backing up the uh, Austrians to the north. But fundamentally, once we've recruited, finished our recruitment in Istanbul, probably go on the offensive a bit. Push towards Ankara, put them under threat. You know, take that territory and their towns into our empire. I think that's where we've got to go. Uh, right, so group some of these weaker units together as one attachment and fundamentally that expat infantry unit can just stay out of the way I've got conscripts and then I've got the rest of my line infantry that are in pretty good shape Split my pikes up because they'll be looking for the camels. And then commit my cavalry on the flanks to pursue and destroy the Ottoman infantry. line. We need to close the distance pretty rapidly. So even though they are on the they're meant to be attacking us, they actually with their artillery advantage, we don't want to stay at range for too long. Yeah I'm counting on my pikemen providing a discriminating and advantage here. So let's speed up time as my line runs into position. Yeah, so the organ guns are going after my after my pikes and after my infantry, which is to be expected. Is pushing up the flank to keep my pikes over here, gun my cavalry into the centre, get a regiment of horse in charge into the back of the Riskers of Souls. They'll slice through my conscripts pretty rapidly. Run my regiment of horse through the line. Form square. Get my grenadiers into that combat. Form our line, keep my general moving. Pikemen pick off the cows particularly. Cavalry pursue the riskers of souls. Form square with you guys. and charge them. Draw them into the action. Charge the musketeers, see if we can make them break at the last minute. 
Let's see if we can make them think that breaking is in their best interest. Get my Pokemon in against the Camel Nomads. Excellent. Everybody else, start charging everybody else. Excellent. Pursue the Janissaries. You men pursue the Riskers of Souls. Excellent. Four map. There goes the camels. Looks like, for the most part, we got him. Okay, so let's focus on my general wiping out the Riskers of Souls. It's an ideal world. Okay, my general will go after the Janissaries. Alongside this cavalry. Kill the last of these Bashi Bazooks and then support the Regiment of Horse against this unit of Israeli. You should leave them ungrouped. Okay. Excellent. Everybody else bring together and attack the last of these Janissaries. And then everybody can gang up on these camels, but they're definitely going to escape, but. That's a good victory. Yeah, some of my infantry units got smacked a bit, but uh, I think we're going to be okay. I want to see what happens to their army. Do they run or are they dead? 373 men remaining. I mean, they should definitely be dead, but whatever. So there's going to be more of them coming where they came from. But it's interesting, oh, it's, it, it's tempting to gather my artillery with that army and land them against Cairo. Or land them um, in Egypt to move against Cairo. Because we're going to need to start... Well, we need to do, do some damage to these, uh, these Ottoman scoundrels. 4,900, not ideal, but not terrible. Let's get you out of the way. Get my guns embarked. First of all, actually just move them around here in general. You just destroy the remnants of that horse. You men... Oh, you stay where you are. Get the guns to try and join up with you. Get this ship in, into cover. Ah, oh, they're not going to make it. Oh well. Okay, so they're not in the north. Let's take this conscript unit, merge them with some of these other conscript units, and then seek a engine uh, engineer unit. Get an engineer unit. So, 3,800 to play with. Pazani has grown in Romelia. I think I might build a church school so I can keep converting the population here. And then I can move my priests on into Ankara. Signore. So this army's back up to full strength. It's going to be an ex oh, it's going to cost nearly everything to get everyone up and running. Let's pick. Although two, be yeah, well, they're in lots of them are already being replenished, but they're being replenished back up to an existing standard already. Let's get all get a chunk of my line infantry. Make sure they're all fully replenishing. 
1600 though is enough to build a general, Luca Comin. I don't think I move against. Hmm. Yeah, they do have men down here. I think I start getting ready to push. I think this army has to move up here, replenish and support an attack into Ankara. While you hold... Or try and support the, the, Aust the uh, Austrians as much as you can. So yeah, stay close. Yeah, we've got our Mar yeah, Marines here, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we've got to hit Anchor. Anchor's got lots of towns, it can be quite valuable. It does add a lot of risk at the boundary, but I think we've got to do it. In terms of tech... So we've got to join stock companies. Let's get on to Coke Blast Furnace, because it's just a flat um, bonus from w wealth earned from metalworking buildings. That's pretty good. I mean, at some point I've got to be ready for you guys to hop in and do bad things. But yeah, can't worry about that now. Let's see what goes on. Prussia is Prussia wants peace, but we can't afford to give them it because we don't want to. We don't want them to uh, attack Austria alone. So we need to keep backing up Vienna. That's really important. Getting some engineers will help because it'll give us a bit of uh, melee. Melee, uh, they <laughs> trout off in the mid centers there. Get us troops that are better, uh, better performers in hand to hand combat. It says they're bad shooters, but they're not terrible. They're reasonable, and if you fold them into the line, they can support each other quite well. So in goes the Barbary States. Pirates trying to do get up some shenanigans. Five thousand three hundred. That's not bad. Let's cross you guys. Ah, I've got something important to do. Ally request assistance. Poland has attacked the Italian states. I, oh no, I don't want to. Do I want to be at war with all those people? I mean, why have they attacked the Italian states? Why have they declared war on them? Why? I mean, I've got to kind of... I've got to back them up. I suppose I'm already at war with the Ottomans in Spain. I don't have a border with Russia, but they could come after me. Denmark's not a huge problem. The Marathas, I'm at war with. Come on, let's back you up. Ah, uh, right. This rape. You need to get over here and support the operations in Ankara. So you're going to cross over. You're going to take up position in Istanbul. Although, to be fair, I do have a militia you know, I don't need, because I've got Signor, you. I vostri ordini. Altri ordini. Avanti. Da sinistra. Per il paese. Marcia. Yeah, you men hold in Istanbul. Oh, it's going to cost so much money to replenish you all. Pick a handful of units. 3,800...
Prosperous trade port's pretty good. I think I gotta try and go for a prosper. <laughs> Do I? First of all, you can get back to Venice. Actually, first of all, let's check if. Oh, Toronto's got a port. Let's build up Toronto. And let's build a, a light galley down here to help protect Toronto. 2100. I'm probably going to lean towards. Upgrading. I trust his governor's residence to go from a 3% tax bonus to 9%. Plus 3% bonus to, to region tax income. 9% bonus. Tricky. I mean, you never go, you never go poor building industry. I know that much. But you men push towards Ankara. See if you can put them under threat. See what happens. So Athens is a state capital, which is nice. Larissa is ready in 35 turns. And what I can do, we well, might, to be honest, it might not even work, but let's start advancing. Because they probably, oh, there's a madrasa there, two madrasas, three madrasas. Yeah, they, they aren't converting to Catholicism anytime soon. Either way, let's see what happens. I don't like the fact that Britain are moving an entire stack against us. That's very bad. Or well, not potentially, not against us. If they can get through the Strait of Gibraltar. If they're at war with Spain, Spain may help us out here. Although they're chasing down the Portuguese for reasons unknown. Oh my. Oh my own, look at that. Let's let's see what happens here. <laughs> or do I betray the Austrians and try and make peace? Let's ride to their aid. <laughs> I can try and make peace afterwards if they say no. I'm kind of boned, but there we are. <laughs> Let's see what we can achieve. Yeah, we're going to come in. Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, didn't uh, optimize my reinforcement schedule. And the problem is, what if we come in directly behind them? I mean, oh, there's so many ways this, this can go horribly wrong. This could go very badly wrong, but if we win, it will be an epic victory for the ages. So we come in over here. Right behind the entire Prussian army. Fabulous. Push my light horse forwards. To attack the regiment of horse. My, all of my artillery is going to come in first. My general is going to die. Well, that's the best unit to have coming in. Let's hope they can come in and save the day. Soon enough. 
So I've got to get in there and start protect. Got to get in there and start fighting for the for the city. Let's withdraw my general. My pikes will go in there and clear him out. Militia are coming in in an incredibly unhelpful manner. Hold on, how it says park up and get going. They're losing men thick and fast. Locked out one of my howitzer teams. Try to get some of my. Need to get some of my infantry out here. Try and do some good things. Where are my pikemen? Focus on the lancer guards. Good attack the regiment of horse. Any reinforcements are up on that hill. So pikemen get in and attack that regiment of force. No conscripts, don't do that. Ignore the action. Hold them, stand fast. Them. Cavalry pullback, pikemen pullback, militia form up and engage. We need to clear our way through. Shotting the land van militia. Okay, there we go. Engaging. My hussars are in the mix, but I don't want them to be. Start moving people up towards the fight. Get a set of artillery up on this hill. firing at will. Yeah, I've got my sound effects are on, but... Excellent. If we can get up to the the gate that will be superb line infantry get up here okay let's start to get over here we're starting to push and we can also maybe if we're lucky take out the general's pod take out the uh, Prussian general Oh boy. Home line. Oh boy. Home square. Fifth regiment are gonna get spanked. Be 
team and attack the horse grenadier guards. Pikemen go after these lancers. Infantry stay in square, grenadiers go against the Ulans. Well, between them, we're doing good. You guys push up over the gate. Oh, it's starting to chug. Not because of us, though. And granted, our infantry is not in a good position. Excellent. Conscript attack the Curiosier, then. That's not a good... Not a good look for us. Pikemen go up there and help them as well. These units push up here. They broke one of our infantry units, but our other infantry formations are going to do enough. These men push up and just begin engaging their infantry from the rear. That may actually do it. Yeah, these conscript units retreat through my pikemen. Pikemen engage the Death's Head Hussars, same with the Grenadiers. Excellent, so the human form up here and begin engaging. Human advance and begin engaging. Artillery limber up, or unlimber. Yeah, it's not chugging because of anything we're doing, it's chugging because of things they're doing. I think a lot of these guys are all... They're all bunched up, they're pushing their way in. But we're firing into their backs. So these gunners... Attack ground this side of the gate. Push in, uh, attack the general's bodyguard. Form a protective bubble around the gate. Remember, Austria. This time they were they were in the, they were here they were getting in. Remember who saved you. Excellent. There we go. They're in full retreat. I mean, not entirely. They're all. They're still over here. So, some of these units establish a defence of our reinforcement point. Everybody else form a defensive musket line in general. So you're going to limber up and redeploy. Conscripts will support a unit of this my artillery directly. Pikemen form up behind the line. Pikemen support it directly. There we go, Austria. One of your flanks is protected. Look at that carnage. Very valiant effort to remain on track as much as you did. Okay, I think our 
battle line is going to push up ahead of our guns to provide support or more support to this front door position. Artillery almost exclusively focus on the counter battery fight. some of these conscripts inside. Oh no, hello. Some line infantry continues to work against us. Let's see if we can run some infantry inside. I try and help man the walls. They are going to make a... likely going to make a breach. Here comes the enemy. These pikemen don't have to stay back here anymore. They're going to advance. Keep hammering their, their artillery. You men get in here. Focusing on trying to destroy, trying to get into the city, which makes sense, it's entirely fair, but... Signore. There we go, the Lancer Guards. Yeah, you can try and push in if you like, but... That's what the pikes are here for. Both concentrate fire on one battery. Actually, you want to go for the six pounder back here. So he misses, you'll do some good damage. Do 135 conscripts, you men man the armory, and the deers form up. They've got a way in. Gendarmerie are making moves. With my guns begin engaging. This battery of six pounder horse artillery. Reorientate my pikemen. one gun. Carcass shot inbound, but then again, have some of them apples. More Lancer Guards. I'm sorry, Prussia. The damage has been done. I mean, 
charge in if you like. Reborn Square. Grenadiers want to come in and do some damage, do they? Try to see if I can get him with a blast of my carcass shot. Nope, misses. The guards are wavering. There goes the grenadiers. John Darmory turned them back. Here come some more Prussian units out of nowhere. Bombard the Grenadiers. Okay, it's given artillery to attack their howitzer uh, position. So they can charge you guys out to attack the Fusiliers now. being defensive and went offensive. Let's get stuck in. Because they're pushing men into the fight. I bring my general up here as well. Keep pouring fire onto them. Especially you, Tom Regiment. Enemy cavalry contingent back here is not as strong as it used to be. They want to try and attack their artillery. So bearing that in mind, let's get our foot artillery to focus on their infantry section. Charge a unit of conscripts into the fight. Okay, you guys need to start clearing up center while we start push it, putting the Russian deployment zone under pressure. The sooner we do that, the sooner the battle is won. So we're going to engage their grenadiers. Make sure I've got an artillery artillery unit providing them close support. Limber up my howitzer. Excellent. Let's pull this conscript unit out of the city. That howitzer unit's limbering up.
you're not providing any value about certain militia. Can't afford to have militia units not contributing. Especially in one-on-ones with grenadiers. Good first regiment of militia. Give them a devastating volley. There we go. They're holding on, they're holding their own well enough, but just well enough. Meanwhile, the artillery is devastating the enemy's morale. Push up, retarget. Yo, aren't you guys lucky you've got friends like me? Get these pikemen up here. Well oh, they're getting they're getting hit by concentrated artillery fire. Let's bring the general out. Excellent. So let's crank this up a bit. Really get engaging into the flanks of some of these units, like the 7th Grenadiers. Counter charge the musketeer unit. There's only 83 of them, or 85 of them. Folks fire the lancer guards to the rear. Form square. Push the push the bikes up. Push the bikes up. The militia, if they can, if they can not break immediately, they might do okay. Actually, there's not many of them. The fire, the constant um, and musket fire will be what does for them. They can hold, they can break the enemy. Engage the militia. More militia. There we go. Lots of militia coming in. Unlimber. Oh, excellent. Carcass shot is in range. Start to hit some of these militia units. God damn, these guys just got. They're desperate to push in. Move forward. Cock a shot into this into this mess. Slowly rotate you guys back a bit. No, form, just hold where you are. The regiment of foot is advancing. We'll give them something to advance into. Prussian, Prussian soldiers may be dangerous foes. However, we protecting our people.
push the militia in. 14th Regiment just surrounded. Yeah, we are. Our guys are getting upset as well. Switch to round shot. Smack some shots into these militia to the rear. Pikeman withdraw. Rotate back. They're coming in, but that's okay. Focus fire the Dragoons. You men get the Lanvin militia to the rear. Okay, I suppose you do have to kind of push in. Artillery is another foot artillery unit to the rear that's going to get fired upon. Excellent. Artillery fire focus on the fifth. general over here. Yeah, there we go. There's... I thought there was a hidden unit. Yeah, we've pushed the... The artillery crews themselves have ran away. Charge the just charge the. Uh, to be honest, it's just a bit risky charging anyone in general, really. Push up into the woods. Uh, there's a hidden unit of grenadiers back here as well, is there? Two units of grenadiers. you men about face give them a volley They're charging in Ooh, fully unprepared Ooh. close victory victory for us that great cost mind but more for them Ooh. yeesh Back they all run. You don't know what you've caused. They're in trouble. That's for darn sure. But I think we're going to spend a bunch of money replenishing them. Or replenishing the garrison. Or replenishing my troops. Hopefully they replenish their garrison. I'm sure they've still got an army sat down in my territory somewhere, not really doing anything. See, if you did stuff, that'd be fun. But you just can't... You could say, oh, we're allies. You could march through my land and attack Poland. Please. Oh, and now you're going <laughs> to... Rookie error. 5,600. Church school in the Rumelia has been built. So you, first of all, replenish as much of our line infantry as we can, first and foremost. Then sink some into our, some of our, some more of our infantry. Maybe take my weakest unit of conscripts and, well, yeah, maybe just combine them. Free up another space. 
I mean, it'll take a long time to get here. 12 pounders is better than nothing. Just shy of two and a half thousand. Let's send my agent forward to Ankara. A lot of cavalry. But we got a lot of squares. I wonder if I can take if I can take Ankara. Will will we be able to make peace again with the Ottomans? I think I've got to march like. First of all, get my agent out of the way. Well, we are managing to convert, but we're, we're both effectively picking off the Orthodox people. Am I building the gunnery school anywhere? Because I really need one of those. Well, I can't get the gunnery school. Until I get reorganised procurement. So then I can get build the gunnery school, then the ordnance board and build quick get start getting quick climbing. How it says I think this might be a bad idea pushing into Ankara. I think what I want to do instead is to take if I can get into an Antalya. Yep, don't worry about that. If I can get into Antalya. I think I want to pick you guys up from here. And start fighting in Egypt. Personally, I think that's the I think that's the move. Because otherwise I think we're gonna to start to be we can defend Istanbul really well, and ultimately they didn't really want to attack it when I've got this ship here. So I think I don't necessarily want to move it. I don't want to, don't want to move it or do anything with it yet. Let's build a steam-pumped iron mine. Spend the rest of our money on replenishing anyone that we didn't get. Well, pikes first. Trade route raided with the Brits, yes. Um, hmm. But that was quite good. Who's Prussia at war with? Against us and Russia. So they are a bit they should be they should be scrapping over here with the Russians. I think fighting over, like, right now, Egypt is not secured. So if we fight and destroy these armies, we can take Egypt. Which isn't a huge money earner, I grant you, at the moment. But it will be. In which case, then, I probably want you back. Convert Istanbul. And then probably build another university here to get more... Um, get more uh, research done yeah they are yeah they're building militia they're gonna come after me so i'm gonna want to bolster the garrison at venice i think fundamentally i just need to be really careful what uh what I do here. See, you want peace again because you want to attack the Austrians, and no, I'm not going to let you do it. That's what we wanted to see. We wanted to have this fight um, before the gates of Cairo. But looking at... Well, not before the gates, but, you know, we wanted to have this sort of engagement... But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another Scrap Against the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.